he did it! Who he really did it! Three cheers for the hero of the Centurion! Well, this is a little much. You are the one who came up with the plan, and you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, don't you? I don't know. No, you're right. I fought to make this mission a success. That is something to be proud of. Victory is a fine thing. But this win feels a little more significant than usual, wouldn't you say? Claude's precise tactics, the captain's dauntless command... It all meshed together perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship is sharing in this victory. In light of this achievement, even I can't deny his ability. <sighs> Kai. Claude, the celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. Me? You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Uh, fine. Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward, to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you, to believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities to see that decision to its conclusion. Every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. Someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. Children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all. To honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle to make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this, and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose victory. Yeah! <laughs> What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? No, that's not... You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Camera's all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with the future hero? Wait, everyone, please calm down. Kai? <sighs> Kai? Hey, wait up! I said wait, damn it! <sighs> Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? Let me go. Can't you at least tell me? I said let go! I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. 
Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. It's my problem, too. Why? Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? Fine. You want to know what kind of friend I really am? That's... Wait. No. I've betrayed everyone. Claude, Riley, you... Everyone. It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little. I'd always do whatever he told me. I was always just his messenger. His helper. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> Get off me! Shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <sighs> Listen to me, all right? I don't know what you did, and I'm not gonna ask. I don't give a shit, you understand? You're not a traitor. And even if you were, it doesn't matter. <sighs> How could it? I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I, I... I love you. What kind of guy would I be if I can't forgive a single mistake from the girl I love? It's been hard on you, right? And you regret all of it, and you're... You're not gonna do it again, right? Then forget all this shit! You don't have to worry. Nobody's gonna know if you don't say anything. And if you want to vent, I'll always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, I'll take the blame for you. So you... I mean, you should... You can rely on me as much as you want. Got it? Doesn't matter who I have to fight. The imps, the feds, or... Or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. <laughs> so, uh, nothing? I give you my big, dumb, once-in-a-lifetime confession, and you got nothing to say. Dumbass. Huh? I... You dumbass! Keep your voice down! <laughs> How do you expect me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear? Bud... Thank you. I feel like... I can breathe again. <sighs> About the other stuff... Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! Ha! <laughs> I just heard from Marie. The little girl woke up? She did indeed. I was just finishing a simple checkup. But it does seem like she might have a case of amnesia. <sighs> so, what's your name? Angie. Short for Angelica. Hi, Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. If she doesn't remember anything but her name, we don't have a whole lot to work with. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering. Oh no, it's okay. Just take your time. You don't have to try and force it. I'd prefer to have her dropped off at some town. 
But seeing as we're in enemy territory, that might be tricky. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so I'd say our best choice is to let her rest and keep an eye on her. Can you look after her, Doctor? Leave it to me. I was a pediatrician before all this, if you can believe that. Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Andy. Uh. Hey. She's all alone, isn't she? Riley. <sighs> Doctor, is she strong enough to walk? Certainly. Aside from the memory loss, she's got a clean bill of health. Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Okay. I apologize for my absence. I'm afraid the laboratory called me back in for some time. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship 2 was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well done. Very commendable, you two. Oh, th thank you, my lord. But, regrettably, I cannot say the same for the choices that followed. <sighs> if you had reported as instructed, and followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. I'd rather we don't have another miscommunication like this. But you understand, it's because I love the both of you. <laughs> yes, I do this because I love you very, very much. You know that, don't you? <laughs> now then. Let's begin the calibrations. Y yes, my lord. Thank you for your kindness. You needn't thank me. I do all of this for you, my dears. After this, everything should go much more smoothly. Yes, without a doubt, there will be no more failures. Angie, would you please hand me the wrench with a 12 on it? fight over you. It seems everyone likes having you around. You're like the guardian angel of this ship. Angel? It means you're beautiful, inside and out. <gasps> no, uh Riley. You're the prettiest on the ship, outside and in. Aw, that's what makes you so sweet. <sighs> I wish we could keep you aboard forever, but not all dreams come true. Do I have to get off the boat? Not now, but eventually, yes. This ship is headed for the front lines of battle. We can't just take a little girl into a combat zone. I'm sure the captain will take good care of you. Maybe drop you off at the next port. Hopefully you can get your memories back by then. My memories... Are you scared to remember? Uh-huh. I understand. 
Not all memories are happy ones. But it's sad that you can't remember the people you love. Love? Like family and friends. Maybe even a boyfriend. <gasps> oh, I'm pulling your leg. Come on. We've still got a lot of repairs to do. Let's see. The Ragnaline Chamber's been looking unstable. I assume it's just wear and tear, but I guess I'll have to shut everything down and test it first. Hmm, it's all five, I think. Huh? It says it's tired and stressed out. Huh. Oh, you're right. L5 does look pretty worn. Angie, you... You really are an angel. <laughs> How'd she figure it out? That would have taken me hours. Riley! I thought you were watching Angie. She's having her checkup at the sick bay. Good timing. The captain has decided what to do with her. <laughs> oh, so it's already settled. Wish we could have had a little more time together. No, no, you got it all wrong. Angie's not going anywhere. Huh? She'll be staying aboard for now. The captain wants you to look after her. But that means Angie could get caught in the crossfire. That's what I said. We're already knee-deep in enemy territory, to see nothing of the cold. But the captain determined that if she leaves now, we can't guarantee her safety. Still, he didn't seem too keen on the idea himself. It felt like something was weighing on him. Like what? Sorry, I couldn't really get that out of him. In any case, I want you to keep her safe. That goes without saying. Until her memories return and she's back home. I'll protect her. It's my responsibility. Well, that settles that. I'll go tell Angie the good news. Hey, wait. I need to ask you about... Wow. She's completely smitten. 